Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain quiet for the minute of silence. Good morning, Shay and Tilly. I'm Julian Santos. And I'm Maddie Colbert. Today is Monday, November 12, 2018. And here are your morning announcements. Today is May Day with LS5 and CT. Tomorrow is a B Day. The Nightly News is creating a story on our Charter's unusual Thanksgiving traditions. If you are interested in being interviewed, come by room 228 during CT or after school. Tryouts for Charger Indoor Guard will be held today through Thursday from 6 to 8.30 p.m. at Green Bar East Elementary School's gym. There will be an orchestra concert at 7 at Chantilly. Today marks a celebration of Veterans Day. Let's go to Zoe with more on how it has affected our Chargers. Veterans have touched the lives of many in the Chantilly community. Let's see how some students and faculty have been affected. My dad was in the Air Force for almost 30 years. I was in the Army. I spent six years as an artillery officer. Um, my mom's in the Army. We used to move every two years because my mom always got different assignments in her job. But when my brother started high school here, my parents decided that they wanted us to finish high school on the same place. Uh, it was. It was, a little, it was a little different, but it was a pretty awesome experience. I got the chance to work with um, people from a really wide variety of backgrounds. Um, so I got a pretty global experience out of it. So it was really awesome to see the different cultures. Once in middle school, uh, in civics, my teacher played a video on Veterans Day of a bunch of like coming home videos and I cried and everyone laughed at me. <laughs> uh, I think Veterans Day is very important. Um, I almost think that it should be more than one day a year. It's, it's a really good chance uh, for people that don't know a lot about the military and don't know much about uh, what goes on, for them to kind of uh, kind of get an experience of, of what being in the military is like. I think some people don't really get why we have it. Most people forget that it's there meant to be a day to celebrate and remember all the veterans who served and have served. I have a little different experience is that I, I know what, what being a veteran is actually about um, more say than, than, than a lot of the population. I'm sure you have some connection somewhere, whether it was an uncle, a grandfather, grandmother even, anyone, someone in your family, just maybe call them, say uh, you love them, something like that. Just make sure that, they're, that they know they're remembered and that, they're, um, that you're grateful for what they did. It's definitely shaped like, who I am as a teacher uh, as far as... Um, having different life experiences and having a, a lot of a lot of interactions with with 18 to 22 year olds and having a bunch of interactions with people with different cultures and beliefs i think has made me a a, a more well-rounded teacher and really a more well-rounded well individual uh, having been in the military but a lot of people will thank you for your service um which is kind of, there's all, there's no there's no right answer how, how do how do you how do you answer as a veteran but when you're in there um so now it's i, I can hide it a little better i don't usually outwardly you know say I'm a veteran unless it comes up in conversation. Um, so it's, it's more of a personal holiday for me versus something that I, I try and get out and celebrate. To all the veterans here at Chantilly, thank you for your service. This has been Zoe Vera Kelly for the Nightly News. Now back to you. Thanks, Zoe. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been Julian Santos. And Maddie Colbert reminding you to stay positive and have a great day. And we'll see you tomorrow.